earlier this week, a, an app, a social media app called Parler, was essentially taken offline by Amazon. Amazon or Amazon uh, Web Services was um, the platform, the cloud service platform that Parler was using uh, to, to run its site, to have its site online. Now the, the app, the Parler app, became extremely popular uh, after the November 2020 election. So if you read the complaint, it says that the app went to number one on Apple um, and it just got millions and millions of members after the November election. And then when Twitter uh, banned President Trump, they saw an increase on top of those, those millions of new members, they saw an increase of 355% uh, membership on that day alone. So the website was growing rapidly um, and Amazon essentially killed it within one day's notice. So uh, Parler wasted no time in taking the matter to court. They filed a complaint this week with uh, the U.S. District Court in Washington. The complaint uh, essentially says that Amazon is guilty of a, of a few things. It alleges that Amazon violated the Sherman Antitrust Act by conspiring to, uh, to restrain trade or commerce. Amazon had contracted just last month with Twitter to provide the same service to Twitter that Amazon is providing or was providing to Parler. So Parler saying that uh, Twitter and Amazon are conspiring to restrain trade, to take down Parler, which is a competitor to Twitter. Uh, Parler also claims that Amazon breached its contract with Parler. Uh, in that contract, uh, which is not, uh, which was not viewable online. I read the complaint, but the contract, I couldn't read the contract. Parler states that Amazon needs to give at least 30 days notice before it can end uh, its services. And Amazon gave 30 hours notice instead of 30 days. So Parler is claiming that, that there was a breach of contract. And then finally, Parler is, uh, is alleging that Amazon tortiously interfered with Parler's contracts with its other members. So uh, Parler has millions of members and Parler also uh, runs advertisements and it's saying that Amazon's actions uh, tort tortiously interfered with those contracts. Parler wants an order from the court um, essentially requiring Amazon to maintain its cloud servicing for Parler and Parler also wants uh, money damages for what they're losing financially uh, being down right now. It, there, it would seem likely that the, the exponential membership growth that Parler was experiencing over the past few months would have continued uh, and these days are crucial for Parler and they're offline. If you try to go to their site, it just says it can't be reached. All right, so. That's a summary of the case. Uh, we don't know how it's gonna go. The judge did not issue an immediate order. So, um, so it doesn't from the, from the start look good for Parler, uh, but we'll have to wait and see.